So these great, they came to Vrindavan, they left everything, and they even left their attachment to food and drink and everything, like the six Goswamis. Or like I, what I put here, I put an example in my notes. I thought of Madhavendra Puri. He, he, was a, he gave up everything, Madhavendra Puri, and he came here. And he gave up his attachment to food and drink. He was always absorbed in pranaya bhajan, because I'm taking this word, brinda tavin, brinda tavim manusara pranayena cheta. As I'm saying, pranayena bhajan. This Raghunuga Bhakti is pranayena. It's with your pran. It's apan, apran, prana utpan, all these pranas with your heart. Rag means heart bhajan. Heart chanting, heart puja. Heart, everything with heart. And he came and he said, I don't need to eat. I, I don't need to eat. I don't need to drink. I sit here in Govinda Kund. And I'll face north towards Radhakund. And Barsana and Nandagram. I'm looking towards Nandagram and Barsana and Yavat and Radhakun and Shamakun. And I'm on the south side, south bank of Govindakun. I'm looking. And I'm I'm seeing in the Kund, I'm seeing this is Govinda. And I'm seeing this is Govinda Kund. And I'm seeing this is Giridhari. Govinda Giridhari. And I'm just chanting. Govinda Giridari, Govinda Giridari, Govinda Giridari, Giridari Govinda, Giridari, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. I'm not, I don't care. This is prayena bhajan, this whole prana. My prana is my bhajan. Prana, we have this, we digest our food. Aham vaish, aham vaishwanaro bhutva pranilam, uh, uh, what is it? Aham vaishwanaro bhutva pranilam dehyamashrita, pranapana samayukta pancham yanam chaturviram. There's a verse in Gita where it's saying, prana apana. The Krishna says, I am the fire of digestion. Aham vaishwanaro bhutva. Prani, he says, I am vaishwanaro. Vaishwanaro means jadaragni. The fire, I am the fire of digestion in the belly. And I digest the four kinds of foodstuffs with the pancha pran. The apana, prana and apana. Prana is in Gita. So this... We eat food and our prana digests it, but this prana, pranayena bhajan, Raghunaga bhajan, his food, his water, everything is the holy name. He didn't drink. He didn't eat. It's Madhavendra Puri. Because he was doing the highest example of Raghunaga pranayena, pranayena bhajan. That's the idea. Kandavrindava and then anusara pranayena. Anusara means he's saying, Go, come to Vrindavan, go to Vrindavan. But then Anusara means follow also. So I took Anusara. Okay, come to Vrindavan. Anusara, Brinda Tavim, Anusara. And the translator is saying, go to Vrindavan, leave everything. Okay, now take Anusara, which is a verb, because the verb in Sanskrit can connect to the word before it and can connect to the word after it. So now take it, Anusara Pranayena Cheta. Take this as a phrase. Anusara pranayena cheta. Then cheta means it, the consciousness, the heart, the mind. Then pranayena, anusara. Follow the way, the pranayena chitta. Your mind should follow the anusara pranayena. Pranayena means pranayena bhajan. Pranayena bhajan means raganuga pranayena bhajan. This is my, my deduction. And it's, it's, uh, it's correct by sadanta, so it's acceptable. It's not apasadanta. So, he, back to Madhavendra Puri, he's sitting on the banks of Govinda Kund and he's crying throughout the night. He's just crying. He had so much greed. Pranayena chitta. His whole consciousness was absorbed in his bhajan. His whole prana was Govinda. Govinda, Govinda, Govinda. Inhaling Govinda, exhaling Govinda. His, all his whole prana, his life airs, everything was Govinda, Govinda, Govinda. Govinda, Govinda, Govinda. He had so much greed, intense desire to attain Gopal Sangha, Darshan, or Govinda. He was crying throughout the night. And the peacocks, the peacocks and the kadamba trees all around Govinda Kunda were so many kadamba trees, even in 1977 when I came. So many kadamba trees all around there. And when he was crying out, Govinda, in the middle of the night, all the peacocks, oh, 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 oh. You know how they, they, they meow or whatever they, the sound they make. All, they would be also respond by crying back. So this was his mood. When he was crying out, his mood, was, he was totally, a, this, this 
while he was sitting on the banks of Radha, uh, Govinda, Govinda Kund, <laughs> yeah, a little bit too much Radha, I have to, you know, Govinda, Govinda Kund, there's, because my Guru Dave stays in Govinda Kund and sometimes in Radha Kund. And he's in Govinda Kund. I say, why, why you stay Govinda Kund? Why you stay in Radha Kund? Also, it's, it's, a, it's also a Kund, Radha Kund. He said, no, no, I like, Bhajan is better in Govinda Kund. <laughs> Many Babas are in Govinda Kund. Very Shant, Shanta Babas are in Govinda Kund. So, <laughs> he said, Govinda, Radha, Radha Govinda. So, the, actually, these two Kunds actually make a pair because our, our, Yugal, our Yugal Thakur for the Gaudiya Sampradaya is Radha Govinda. Takuji Radha Govinda. So our Radha is Radha Kund and our Govinda is Govinda Kund. So you can't have Radha with Kund without Govinda Kund and you can't have Govinda Kund without Radha Kund. And so all the Radha Kund, you know, Astakali, Lila, Mandri, Baba, Upasaka, Sadhus, so many live at Govinda Kund, but they're meditating on Radha Kund. <laughs> Even they lived at Radha Kund before, but it got too, what they didn't, it was too much disturbance in the atmosphere, so they moved there. And I can appreciate that, but disturbance or no disturbance, and <laughs> can't be Radha Because that's Das Goswami's firm res resolution. <laughs>